Here we have an equation x squared plus y squared over 9 plus z squared over 16 is 1, and we're wondering what surface could this equation describe in R3. And the way we're going to do it is by restricting one variable at a time to be constant. So let's first say, well, what if x is just a constant number? k, let's call it. And let's plug that into the equation. We'll have k squared plus y squared over 9 plus z squared over 16 is equal to 1. Now, by restricting x to be a constant value k, we're looking at an equation that only involves two variables, y and z. And so its graph, the graph of this equation, will be in the y z plane, and it will depend on the value we've chosen for k. We've just let it be generic k, but we could replace k with 1, 2, 3, or etc. A natural question to ask is, well, can k be anything, or is it restricted in some way? So to see that, let's just rearrange the equation. y squared over 9 plus z squared over 16 is 1 minus k squared. And now when you compare the left-hand side with the right-hand side, after a bit of reflection, you might notice something. The left-hand side is always going to be positive. No matter what values y and z you plug in, this will be positive. So that means that the right-hand side must be positive as well. Well, what does that mean for k? It means that k can't be, k squared can't be bigger than 1 k squared can't be bigger than 1, and so k has to be either smaller than 1 or bigger than minus 1. Okay. And as long as k is between minus 1 and 1, then what uh, curve does this equation, y squared over 9 plus z squared over 16 equals 1 minus k squared, describe? This is the equation of an ellipse uh, that is a little longer along the z-axis than it is along the y-axis. Let's keep going. Let's do the same exercise, this time with y. Let's restrict y to be a constant value. Again, I'm going to use the letter k. And we're going to plug this into the equation and see what happens. So I have x squared plus y squared over 9 plus z squared over 16 is equal to 1 because this equation involves only variables whoops I'm sorry I want to I want to replace that y with k there we go this equation here because we've restricted uh, y to be the constant value k this equation involves only variables x and z and so its graph will be in the xz plane. Let's draw the xz plane. And again, the, the curve will depend on the value of k. And the same question, can k be anything, or is it restricted in some way? Same technique as before, we rewrite the equation. And again, look at the left-hand side. No matter what values you plug in for x and z, this will be a positive number. And so this is required to be a positive number as well. Now, that's not positive for any value of k. For instance, it's not positive if k is uh, 4. Uh, but so k squared over 9 has got to be less than 1 for that right-hand side to be positive. And k squared over 9 is, is, uh, is less than 1 as long as k is between 3 and minus 3. So as long as k is between 3 and minus 3, what sort of uh, curve does this equation describe? Again, it's the equation of an ellipse, uh, where this time it's actually quite a bit longer 
along the z-axis than it is along the x-axis. Now you might want to think about, well, I've just drawn a curve, for kind of a generic value of k. I've assumed it's between minus 3 and 3. What happens to either this ellipse here or this ellipse here as you change k? You might start by asking, well, what about an extreme case? What if k is equal to 1? Or what if k is equal to minus 1? What happens? That's a, that's a good question and worth considering. Now, I'm going to do the last one, and then we'll discuss it a bit more. So the last one here, I'll do, let z be constant. Use the same letter k. And in this case, we get the equation x squared plus y squared over 9 plus z is k. So we'll have k squared over 16 is equal to 1. And <clears throat> because this equation involves only variables x and y, its curve will be in the xy plane. And <clears throat> by rearranging, you can see the following. Once again, this left-hand side is always going to be positive, so the right-hand side has got to be positive, and that will only be positive if k is between 4 and minus 4. So, as long as k is between minus 4 and 4, then what curve does this describe? Once again, it's an ellipse, and it's a little bit longer along the y-axis. Now, what we have, see if I can scroll up and get all the graphs on the screen here. What we have, by restricting uh, x, y, and z to be k, in each case we have ellipses, but the ellipses are shaped a little bit differently, and the restrictions on k are a little bit different in each case. So, the challenge is to think about what happens as to these ellipses as k goes from minus 1 to 1? Well, let's just squeeze this in here. When k is equal to 1, for instance, then we simply have x squared, sorry, uh, y squared over 9 plus z squared over 16 is 1 minus 1 squared, so 0. Now, the only two numbers that will make y squared plus y squared over 9 plus z squared over 16 to 0 are y and z equals 0. So when k is equal to 1, the graph isn't a curve at all, it's just a single point. So I'll leave it to you to see that the same thing is going to happen when k is equal to minus 1. So here's the picture. When k is minus 1, the graph is a point. Then you get ellipses as k increases from minus 1. The question is, uh, how big do the ellipses get? Because we know when k is equal to 1, once again, the ellipses, uh, when k is equal to 1, sorry, the graph is just a single point. So you have, from k equals minus 1 to k equals 1, you have these expanding and contracting ellipses. That same kind of idea is going to happen here when you restrict the value for y to be k, except here the expansion and contraction of the ellipses will happen as k ranges from minus 3 to 3. Now, well, k is the fixed y value, so you could say the expansion and contraction of ellipses happens as y varies from minus 3 to 3. Now, try to imagine a surface where the intersection with the planes is going to be an ellipse. And as you intersect, uh, as you move those planes along uh, the axis, those ellipses expand and then shrink. Try to see if you can visualize it. You can always plug this equation in, this equation here, into something like Wolfram Alpha or a surfaces plotter to just uh, see what the shape looks like, but the challenge is in trying to visualize it. Spend some time thinking about it, and if you get stuck, 
feel free to graph the equation and look at the picture. Good luck.